All right, so what are we waiting for today? Our new phones. Our new phones. And yeah. currently what we use to film our YouTube videos is our Hero 9 Black and our iPhone XS Maxis. That's what we're currently using to record our iPhone XS Max. And I'm using the front facing camera, which I don't think is 4K. Um, no, and yeah, but we've been using that. Our back cameras are great. They're 4K and they record in 60 frames a second. And you know, this looks pretty good to me. And this is the yeah. front facing camera. So. I will switch to the back camera real quick and show you guys what it looks like when we're recording. And this is the back camera of the iPhone uh, XS Max, which yeah. is pretty good. I mean, I don't know if you guys notice a difference um, because this video is shot in 4K and it's being uploaded in 4K, but you know, YouTube does some weird stuff to their compression. So, but yeah, filming in 4K with the rear camera on this phone is difficult because we can't actually see ourselves. That's why we use the Hero 9 Black, yeah. which does film in 4K. Um, and great. we can see ourselves because it has a front camera, that uh, a front screen that shows us. So, but always it's going to change because yeah. our new phones we're waiting for right now. They yep. should be delivered like any minute. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> 341 and we just signed up for text updates on it. So yeah. um, we're excited and it's weird because we have a little competition going on right now mm -hmm. where Megan's phone is getting shipped through UPS, right? Yeah, mine's UPS. And mine is through FedEx. And we pre-ordered these phones on September 22nd. They yeah. should come out, you know, today, September 24th. Both of ours say they're out for delivery right now. So we're just going to see who yeah. is getting here first. And whoever comes last has to make dinner. Yep. So, so we'll see who has to make dinner. Today. Yeah. And Megan <laughs> said she thinks FedEx delivers first, but... Normally they do, unfortunately, and his is FedEx. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Both of ours say out for delivery, but yours says by 8 p.m. and mine says by 9 p.m. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's a telltale sign <laughs> that mine's coming later. But either way, both of ours should come today and we'll unbox it. So let's get to that. What is here? What's here? New wife. <laughs> yeah, just stop it. New phone. Who this? New phone. Who this? Oh, here he comes. Let's see if I can oh. show this. I'm gonna let him put it down. He's, you know, cold. Should we shake it really hard? No. It's now 3:44, and I signed up for texts at 3:41. <laughs> so three minutes yeah. ago, we signed up for texts. I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max in graphite and 256 gigs and Megan got the iPhone 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue which is the launch color. I kind of wanted the Sierra Blue but I don't want our phones to be the exact same color like they are now. Currently yeah, I have, have the 10s Max 256 gigs uh the 10s Max like I said in gold the launch color. We usually get the launch color because you know it's the only way to distinguish new models but our phone bill is only going to increase by like 13 14 bucks a month yeah. and that's with the paid off phone so um, that's a deal. Two phones for $14 a month. Yes. But we're going to get into this unboxing and see what my phone looks like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here at the unboxing station. And it's me <laughs> and it's Megan. And I'm going to quickly get into this box. Um, but first, I just wanted to show you guys. We are iPhone lovers. Um, I'm not particularly, like, obsessed with iPhones. Um, I prefer, actually, I would rather have the Note fold or the galaxy fold three whatever that just came out um that's amazing but due to the nature of my work um it's very dusty and dirty and there's a lot of sand and mm -hmm. the moment that i close that phone with sand inside of it or even bring it <laughs> no. out in my workplace uh it's going to completely ruin it there's no way so yeah. i couldn't do that now the new iphone 13 pro and my iphone 10s max right now even though it does have cracks on it um from me dropping it um it's been great at work. Like I can, I don't even use a case and uh, it withstands the sand, the dust. I think it's IP68 resistant. So it's waterproof, it's dust proof. Um, and I wear my Apple watch at work too. And um, I was actually welding the other day and I got welds spatter all over the screen, but it still works perfectly. So, I mean, and I have cement all over my hands all day long. Um, and this is completely fine. If you actually take a look inside there, you there is cement inside there, but um, you know, I, if I just scrape that out, it's fine. And it works fine. The speakers work great. So anyways, Apple, we're super happy with. Yeah, and, and I've had an iPhone since I was 12. Like, yep. I got my first phone, like my first actual phone when I was 12 years old. And uh, I had the iPhone 3G. Yep. So I've had an, an iPhone since the iPhone 3G. Yep. Not the 3GS, like the 3G. <laughs> so The first iPhone. I've had an iPhone since I was 12. I'm 25. I've had an iPhone for 13 years now. So. And I am shaking so much from holding this phone. This is the Pro Max and it is <laughs> pretty okay. heavy. We're getting into that unboxing right yep, now. Exactly. So here we go. All right. So this is the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, this was my first iPhone and it's also in the gold. And I have it in this OtterBox case because this is kind of just like our extra phone right now. Um, we paid this off and we keep it. 
um, just in case of an emergency or we need a second phone. So it's pretty big. Um, and then here's the iPhone XS Max. This is the phone that we currently uh, use and the one that I'm using to record currently right now. And then we're gonna unbox this iPhone 13 Pro Max. So here we go. Let's see what they include in the box. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up. And we have some air packaging. Don't need that. And whoa, 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 here it is. The main thing, the big deal, the head honcho, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Here's the box, really thin. So thin. Really thin compared to other boxes. But look how thin it is. So thin. You know, I don't really like how thin it is, but if we're looking at it, does it smell like an Apple product? I don't know. The box smells pretty good. iPhone 13 Pro Max, designed by Apple in California, but assembled in China, of course. <laughs> and all the components are from China. All right, so let's get into this. Now, while we get, ooh, that was easy to tear off. So while we get into this, I'll tell you guys some of the differing ooh. specs um, of the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus our 10s Max, which we currently have. Now, I'm not gonna open the box yet, but this iPhone 13 Pro Max can record 4K 60 frames a second in Dolby Vision, which is a big deal for me because if Megan will pan over to our television, I have the LG C10 um, 65 inch OLED television, and I'm a big proponent of OLED technology. Now, what's in our current phone, the 10s Max, I believe is an OLED screen that runs 60 frames a second, and it does have HDR capabilities, but this iPhone 13 Pro Max has a, um, 120 hertz super retina resolution oled panel um so it's going to be really nice i mean that's really the only reason that i wanted to get the pro max versus the pro because of the 120 hertz uh refresh capability it's going to be really smooth and it records in dolby vision and pro resolution which we don't even edit in pro res at all we don't record pro res uh footage mm -hmm. but and it takes up a lot of space but um you know it's cool <laughs> i guess uh, <laughs> Also, uh, some of the other features is it's 256 gigs, but they do offer a one terabyte version, which my mother actually got. Don't know why she needs a one terabyte, <laughs> but that's as much as our MacBook <laughs> Pro has, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got the 256 gigs. It has Dolby Vision, HDR. Um, it's also IP68, water resistant and dust proof. And apparently this has the most durable glass ever put in a phone. So, and it has the A15 Bionic chip, which is their uh, most recent chipset that Apple released. So it's gonna be super quick. And I don't know what the RAM is on this thing. I'm assuming eight gigabytes, but I don't really know. Don't quote me on that. Um, we'll put it down here. Yep, right here. <laughs> and so, it, I mean, I don't know. It retails, the version we got, I believe was 1199 um, or 1099. No, 1099 starts at 1099 goes to 1199 for the 256, 1299 for the 512 and 1499 I think for the 1 terabyte. But don't quote me on those numbers. Here are those numbers again. <laughs> All right, so let's actually open this up because it was just two little pull tabs and we're about to open this box. All right, so we're about to get into this. Ooh, silky smooth. And wow, that's a good looking phone. I got to give it the sniff test. Let's Whoa. see. It doesn't really even smell like anything to be honest, <laughs> but oh my goodness, look at those cameras. All right, let's take this out. Wow, look at that pronounced camera bump. That is pronounced. Here's how it comes. Little sticker on the front that shows you where everything is. Ooh, look at that, you can see your reflection. <laughs> wow. Get away, Jojo. <laughs> Looking good, David. Hey, David. All right, so here's the sides. Beautiful. Mirror finish. Yep, beautiful mirror, and my fingerprints are already on it. Yep, sad. And that is, I believe, a USB-C. Oh, it's a lightning. Maybe that is a C, I, I don't even know. Oh no, it's a C to a lightning cable that they include in the box. Of course, they don't include a charger. That's why the box is so thin. Mm. Um, and yeah, luckily we already have a charger, but that camera bump, oh my goodness. It's massive. massive. And it's jinx. jinx. And it's chamfered on the edges. And uh, yeah, it looks beautiful. The Apple logo actually looks a little bit bigger than on my phone, um, which Megan's recording on, so I can't show you, but it looks a little bit bigger. It's a really smooth finish. Let me feel. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, look at that. And fingerprint resistant on the back, which is nice. The that side's already covered in fingerprints. And what is this? Maybe that's the SIM card tray? That could be the SIM card it's tray. It's very noticeable, though. It's interesting. I think that is a sensor of some sort. Because here's the SIM card tray. Yeah, then what is that? Wow, I didn't even read anything on this. I don't know what this is. We're going to figure that out together. But either way, man, this phone feels good. It's <laughs> solid. Looks good. Um, and the notch is definitely smaller. Let's power it on for the first time and see what we got. Apple logo. All right, here we are, hello. It looks pretty good. 
Ooh, it's pretty fluid. We're gonna set this up. Yeah, oh yeah, that 120 hertz. I don't even think you guys are seeing this video on 120 hertz, so it doesn't really come across to you, but it does look really nice. All right, we're connected to the Wi-Fi network, and now it's gonna activate our iPhone. So we're gonna wait for that and see you guys once it actually activates. All right, iPhone 10s Max versus iPhone 13 Pro Max. And as you can see, um, there's a big difference in the cameras, obviously. But also the weight, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is definitely a little bit heavier. The iPhone 13 Pro is thinner. Um, look at that profile, much thinner. But the iPhone 13 Pro Max does have a much larger battery in it. So hopefully that's gonna help us with battery life, you know, having it uh, available to be used for a while. So, cause I found my phone dying halfway through the day. Like right now it's in the red um, and I haven't really used it that much today. It's only, like I said, about 4 p.m. So we're gonna continue setting up the phone and we'll let you guys know how it looks. All right, setting up Face ID. Boom, all done. Nice. That black though, it's you can't even see the edges of the screen, it's so black. Oh, we gotta do another scan. And now I can create a passcode, which I won't show to the audience. In case I get your phone. <laughs> yeah. Never know. And we can transfer directly from an iPhone. So we're gonna do that. That's how we're gonna transfer uh, this data. So I'm gonna click that. And then look, on our old phone, I don't know why it's sideways, what a bug. But on our old phone, it says set up as a new phone. Crazy. And get that. we're gonna authenticate by scanning. About an hour 30, it says. And I have a lot of data on this phone currently. Probably about 150 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. Josie's excited. It's coming. It's getting it. Megan's literally head against the window. I see him. Watch him chuck it. Just throw it. UPS does that. I know. UPS. I looked it up and 11% of their packages are damaged. 11%. That's a lot. I don't want to like creep him out. Josie, stay. Hey, you Thanks. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So beautiful. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Here we wow. go. Let's bring it over to the rest of them. We can move these yep. old guys out of the way. Here we go. I mean, this is going to be the same deal mm -hmm. as yours. Wow. wow. Let's compare it. Wow. Mine still has like the cover on it, of course. But look at those. Good looking phones. Here we go. You excited? I'm so excited. We haven't had new phones in like three years. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. Power Let's on. see the side profile. Is it blue? Oh yeah, it's blue. Oh, she's turning on. Yeah, I didn't even know that the sides was blue. I'm still very curious yeah, about what that is. Me too. She's turning on. And you're <laughs> gonna transfer it via Wi-Fi too? Hello, yes, we are going to. So now you're recording on my old phone. So yep. now we are going to have to stop recording so I can start transferring mine. But yep. hopefully David's new phone will be done soon. Yep, and when my phone is done, um, my new phone. Sorry for the blurry. When my new phone is done in about 54 minutes, I'm gonna start recording fresh on the new phone, mm -hmm. the new 13 Pro Max. And then the rest of the video here on out is going to be shot on the new phone. Yeah, and hopefully after we finish, you know, getting our phone set up, we can take some cool like artsy shots and maybe show you guys some of the stuff that the cameras can do. Yep. We'll be playing around with it, but yeah, yep. I'm super excited. Me too. All right, well, here we go. Let's go. 
Here's the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, some video. Josie's, this is in my backyard. Here's some water. Here's Megan. <laughs> Here's the ultra wide video. And I'm gonna switch to the normal camera. Focus back in on Megan. And then I'm gonna switch to the three times. Three times camera, let's see how it looks. Oh, I can't switch between the camera modes. All right, so let's take this. Let's take this tree, for example. All right, here's the ultra wide, the 0.5 zoom. One times, three times zoom. Ultra wide, one times zoom, three times zoom. Let's try the cinematic camera, the cinematic video. We're in cinematic video now. I can shift the focus between you and that tree over there. And you and that tree. That's cool. And you and the grass beside you. And you. <laughs> <laughs> and here's that same video on the iPhone XS Max. Here's one time zoom. And this is two time zoom on the iPhone XS Max. All right, guys, so here what we have is all of the iPhones I've owned. So we have the 13 Pro Max here, we have the 10s Max here, and we have the iPhone 6s Plus right here. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of a comparison of what they look like, the notch sizes, um, the front and the back. So here's the front, here's the back of all of them. So as you can tell, um, the cameras have gotten bigger, the phones have gotten a little bit thicker, and the screens have gotten a little bit better. So what I'll do is I have the same background on all three phones here. And what I'll do is I'll go through some tests to show you the fluidity. Um, by the way, all of the phones are at maximum brightness. Um, and so, yeah, so here we go. So basically let's go between the 6S and the 13 Pro Max. I'll swipe between the home screens. By the way, we are filming on the 13 Pro Max right now. Um, so just to kind of give you, show you the fluidity um, see how it looks for you guys. Actually, I'll go ahead and I'll just launch the camera. Nope, messed it up. Gonna close it out. Make sure all the apps are closed on the phones there. And I'll launch camera. All right, let's change the perspective. You can see beautiful Megan here, just so we can see how quickly it takes to launch it. Close it out and try it again. All right, so the 6S actually launched quicker. Now, uh, obviously the camera quality on the 10S Max is better. And by the way, I do have 200 gigabytes out of the 256 on this phone taken up right now. So it is quite full. This is the 128 gigabyte version. And let's try it on the 10S Max versus the, I mean, let's try it on the 6S Plus versus the 13 Pro Max. And I will have to change it so you can actually see when they're launching here. Close them out, and here we go. All right, that was pretty close. I think the 6X did have a slight advantage, but again, obviously the camera quality on this is much better. Um, so if we focus in on the light, you could see the 6S really darkened the whole thing um, versus the 13 Pro Max had no problem focusing on the light, dimming the light, but also maintaining a nice clear foreground. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll show you the difference between the fluidity on the, on these two phones. So, um, you know, it might not come across on video too well, but I will tell you that the 13 Pro Max here on my left is definitely a lot more fluid. I'll go in and out of some apps, screens, swipe over to the widgets. Let's see how these two react on the camera. Of course, it was on the wrong perspective. Let's try it again. So the 13 Pro Max is the winner in that. I'll launch my messages. 13 Pro Max again. And we'll launch something that we haven't launched, the App Store. 13 Pro Max instant. <laughs> All right, so here's the notification. By the way, both of these two phones are running iOS 15. Um, this phone is running iOS 12. 
Um, so it's a little outdated there, but I just want to show you the difference in peak brightness from my perspective. I can really tell that the 6S Max, the screen, it's not OLED. I can tell that the colors aren't as vibrant in the background here. Um, you know, the apps don't look as nice. Obviously it's a smaller screen, um, but I'm just going to let you know the fluidity here versus this. I mean, it's night and day. These phones have come, you know, it's not a giant leap. Granted, I like all the phones, but you know, the 13 Pro Max is definitely a more beautiful phone. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, take these phones outside, these two phones specifically, and record some video and show you guys kind of a comparison between these phones and the cameras and how they handle low light conditions. Cause outside right now it is a little bit dim, but I did film some video previously that showed some sunny conditions. So here we go. All right, so as we, you can see here, the 13 Pro Max on my right, the 10s max on the left now i don't know if these black bars here on the 10s max on my left here um go away i don't recall if they did or not um but you can see the 13 pro max doesn't have those bars at least they're grayed out so we're going to switch to the videos now and see how they look wow i'm using the cinematic that's awesome i'm like on your phone and now the palm trees all right we're recording video for the 10s pro max and the 13 Pro Max. Just kind of filming the same stuff. This is the normal camera, one time zoom. We'll kind of give them a quick turn around, see how things are. So I'll focus on something and I'll bring it up to the sky real quick. And here's how it looks. Here's the three time zoom on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone 10s Max. Now I'm using the ultra wide on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the non ultra wide on the 10s Pro Max, just seeing the low light conditions. not in the best lighting yeah, it's and low light. it's all light <laughs> and this is the front facing camera on the iphone 13 pro max and it's it looks all right best. it's a little grainy outside and let's just go over our honest impressions you know what do we think honest thoughts about the phone is it a worthy upgrade from the 10s max to the iphone 13 pro max well for us it is however i really like the feel of the 13 of the 10s max a lot better than the 13 pro max just because of those squared edges it looks nice but this phone just feels nice. There's a reason I haven't upgraded in three years, and that's because this phone is so dependable, so amazing. And this one has the 3D touch in it. Um, you know, when I press the camera, you just press it a little bit hard, and this one, you have to press and hold. Um, I don't know if 3D touch is built into the screen like it is on this one, um, but I did notice a difference there. Other than that, the side buttons are bigger um, on the new phone, and it looks nice. The screen is better, um, you know, it is, it is a worthy upgrade for us because we got a $1,000 trading credit for this phone and this phone basically cost us nothing, right? So I like it. I think Megan likes it, right? Yes, I and love it. And the phone does look really pretty. It does. Yeah. Yep. So should you get it? I would say yes. If you have an iPhone 12 though already, I would say probably not. It looks the same. I think it has one more camera. Um, and I don't know if it would be a worthy upgrade for you unless you're real big into 120 hertz refresh rate and ProRes recording, which I'm big on the 120 hertz, not big on the ProRes. But anyways, that's our video. We upload infrequently. So if you want to <laughs> subscribe to us and watch our other videos, we do have a lot of other videos on mo various topics, um, but feel free to subscribe to us and we'd appreciate it. Thank you. See you next time.